Jaguar Jaguar no doubt disagrees, but the best perk of driving one of its cars is not seeing another one. There's too much country for Jaguars to be as commonplace as Mercedes-Benzes or BMWs, each of which sells about 20 times as many vehicles in America as the British automaker scrapes together in one year. That may change some as the F-Base SUV and Shea Compact Sedan gain momentum, but right now Jaguar remains very much a boutique brand. This is a company that fielded a three-car lineup just four years ago, all of them rear-wheel drive V8s. So even if the XF sleek profile looks familiar, it's an uncommon sight for most people. Feeling special, we have now tested the top-of-the-line XFS. When this second-generation midsize sedan debuted last fall, we reviewed a rear-wheel drive 35 tons R Sport with the XF's thin base engine, the 3.0-liter supercharged V6 found across Jaguar's lineup. Our all-wheel drive S is as sporty as the XF gets before the upcoming high-performance SVR model makes it truly nasty. For $2,050, a couple of extra mods turn the 35 tons R Sport into a NES software tweaks the V6 to 380 horsepower and 339 pounds to foot of torque, up 7 pounds to foot, while adaptive dampers collaborate with larger 20-inch wheels. Aesthetically, the car gets bigger school.